The reason you have one of the most highly listened to shows in the world is because you put out really solid content, really solid episodes. Like you focused on the process. See, most people just say, how do I get a, a top podcast on iTunes? That's the wrong question. The question is, how can I be of service and put something out into the ether that people will find valuable? And if I can do that to a great degree, then I'll start to attract my tribe and then they'll tell other people and then slowly you'll build it. So the outcome is I want a heavily listened to podcast, but the process is, can we get good guests? Can we have in, insightful, entertaining conversation that adds value? Can we have practical takeaways? Can we have a high production value? Focus on the things you have control over and then just let the results just happen. Lauren and I talk about this all the time. Unless we've had seasons where like sometimes maybe the show is better than others. We're working. I mean, we've done five, almost 600 episodes, right? Yeah. We're not even scratched the surface of what we want to do. Like It's repetitions, repetitions. Yeah. Whenever people come to this company, Dear Media, and they say, hey, I want to do a podcast and I want to be the next Joe Rogan. I'm like, listen, that guy's got 2,000 episodes, been doing this for 20 years. How do I solve a problem for an audience? And how do I put out engaging content that actually adds to their lives? And then the money part will find you. Do you understand there has to be some patience? Which we're not always naturally inclined. I'm not a very naturally patient person, but you also believe in consistency and repetition. You <laughs> learn to be patient by being impatient and realizing it doesn't work. Over time, I've realized any time that's been a quick fix, short hack, something that is quick money, whatever it is, yeah. there's no longevity in it. So you have to build patient practices or else you're just gonna continue to fall short. Absolutely, and you said something before that let's let's pull on this thread for a moment, uh, repetition. You know, something I say to every player I've worked with, every business I work with, and I say this to my own children all of the time, repetition is not punishment. Repetition is the oldest and most effective form of learning and skill acquisition on the planet. That will never change. If you want to get good at anything, you need to put in the repetitions. And the natural process is the first few repetitions won't be near as good as repetitions down the line. You know, as a keynote speaker, I've given hundreds of keynote talks. My last one was definitely better than the first one that I ever gave. Now, I don't beat myself up for the first one because at that time it was the best I could do, but I take pride in repetition. And I can tell you right now, if you have me on your show three years from now, I can promise you that the, the most recent keynote I will have given at that time will be better than the next one I'm about to give because I believe in repetition and I believe in continuous improvement. So if you can learn to fall in love with the process, here's the beauty. You've already won in advance. See, if your entire self-worth and confidence is all wrapped up in outcomes, then you live a life that really ebbs and flows. When you hit the outcomes, you feel good. When you fall short, you feel lousy. When you learn to love the process, then you've already won in advance. No matter how many people listen to this specific episode, whether it's one or one million, is absolutely irrelevant to what we're trying to create right here, which is a fun and engaging, helpful you know, conversation. That's all that matters. So we gotta be process-centered. And that's it's really easy for me to say, very hard to do. And trust me, I get blinded by and distracted by outcomes all of the time. So I don't want anyone to think that, that I've mastered this. This is something I'm still trying to work on but I'm better at it today than I used to be. And that's really what's most important.